Hello everyone, this time we're doing something weird yet again. Today we're gonna do a box unboxing. Hell yeah. It's like all those game companies when they do an announcement for an announcement. It's one of those, basically. So uh, if you haven't already been keeping up with it, this is pretty much what has been piling up in shipping because of shipping delays. I decided to DHL it all. Uh, it cost me a lot of money, honestly, but I figured might as well get some stuff because uh, those, are the, those are the figures over there that uh, I have left to unbox. It's, uh, it's not a lot, so I needed some more or else we're going to run out of videos pretty soon. Uh, my wallet's also running out, so uh, uh, hey, check out the Patreon. But I figured, hey, might as well do this because uh, it's a very big box and I don't really remember what's in it. So I figured it might be kind of fun to just unbox it. You're going to have to excuse um, the camera work just because I'm holding the camera in one hand and I've got a box cutter uh, in the other hand. So hopefully we'll be able to do this. Of course, I blurred out my address because I don't want to show that off. Alright. Side one. Side two. So satisfying. Okay. Ami Ami usually pads everything sufficiently, so should be fine with cutting like that. Alright. That should do it. Should be able to get us in. Let's, uh find out what I ordered. Oh, look at that. We get a picture right off the boot. Let's see. Oh, look, they gave us a few. I guess they repackaged, uh, so essentially this was a bunch of separate orders, but, uh, because it all got delayed, I figured I'll just send it all in one go. Customs was, uh, not fun. Not fun at all. Very expensive. Don't send expensive orders. Uh, and the thank you note from Aoyami. Very nice. And we have, a. Uh, Thank you for your continued support. Oh, don't worry, I fully intend to buy more figures. Maybe one day down the line we can get Army Army to, to sponsor the channel. Oh boy. It's a lot of packaging. Okay, we're already seeing a lot of fate figures. Oh boy. Let's start with, uh, start with Miku here. All right, this is Miku 2.0, number 300. I'll show, uh, well, of course, we're gonna do videos on all of these guys, but uh, I'll give you a pre quick preview of uh, what it'll be. You guys can let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see anyone first. Uh, but that's Miku. Then we have Dante's, who, of course, I rolled recently uh, in the gacha, the guaranteed gacha, which was very nice, so I'm glad I actually Managed to get uh, get him in game, play about with him a bit before I unboxed his figure. Uh, he's very similar to Izo's Nendroid over there, just uh, just over there. Um, his box, at least, is very similar, exact same kind of art style. All right, we'll put you over there. Then we have one of my pre-orders. Uh, I think this came out in April, maybe. Uh, this is Guild's Third Ascension. Of course, this will keep uh, complete the the Guild trilogy, which is good. Finish that off. Uh, this was crazy rare and uh, quite a bit pricey, just because uh, if you don't know already, this one came with like a special DVD and everything, so it was hard to get this one. This one was crazy rare. I think it comes with. Well, it was like. The condition was it came with everything, so I'm assuming it has a DVD maybe behind the flap, but we'll find out when we do an unboxing. I might do that one first just to check it out. Maybe I'll just open it up and have a look. Then we have Squalo from Reborn. I figured I'd start collecting the Reborn guys because they seem to be making a bit of a comeback recently and uh, they're getting a lot of Nendroids and figures, so I figured, hey, you may as well do it because I love Reborn. It was a great show. Hopefully it gets reanimated. Also, Chinatsu is a weird size. She's 
not quite. I guess she must have matched the size of a DVD cover. She's not quite the small ones, but she's also not quite a big one, which is gonna mess up my shelf order. Thanks, Chinatsu. Then we have L from Death Note. Of course, we've done the light unboxing, so this goes with him. Uh, let's see, do we have the the dual pose? This is the dual pose here. I'll show it off. Uh, but that's essentially what I mentioned in the light unboxing video. That kind of handcuffed chain together pose. That's probably what I'm going to keep it as. Uh, you go there. Ah, now these two I've been waiting for a long time to complete uh, my Persona set over there. This is uh, Haru, one of the many Phantom Thieves. And of course, to go along with her, we have Futaba. So these two were actually uh, in the order that sent out and then got sent back to Army Army because of uh, COVID going on, which sucked. But hey, we got them now. Definitely will do those fairly soon because apparently people really liked my uh, my Persona unboxing, so I'll probably focus on that a little bit. Uh, some more stuff. Let's grab you next. This one is, uh, I mentioned it in the Nendroid uh, Complete Ball video, but Sable Lily uh, from Unlimited Codes. So she, I don't know if we can see it in here, but she's one of the ones that has a circle base, but I figured I really like Sable Lily, so I might as well buy her anyway, even though she doesn't match the aesthetic. So we have her. Then of course we've got, as you can tell, these are a lot of fate Nendroids. Uh, because this is basically the rest of them that I need to complete the Fate set. And by Fate set, I mean like 45 of them. Uh, this is, this is actually a special edition Gudako. So they're re-releasing this one soon as just female protagonist light edition. And basically this one is the same thing, but it comes with more parts like the Rio face over here. And uh, a couple of extra arms, like look at that extra arm. Stuff like that, it comes with a bunch of extra parts, so if you can track this down, definitely go for it, because it's way more rare. Let's see. Next up we have, oh, I didn't know you had a strange box. This is uh, the re-release for Shiro. I guess they, is this a, maybe this is a re-release box. I wonder, is it just that this is the kind of design they go with when they re-release stuff? Maybe. But, uh, of course, he's had his re-release fairly recent as well, so I figured I'd pick him up because uh, everyone else trying to sell him is selling him at a fairly steep price. So I may as well buy it at retail if I can. Then we have Akarine. Of course, another Yuri Yuri character. Um, who am I missing? I think I'm only missing Yui at this point now. I'll probably pick her up at some point. Oh, and there's also like the Akarine character, the one which is transparent uh, of her disappearing, so I'll, I'll try to track that down eventually, down the line, but uh, it might be a little harder to get. Then, sadly, we have the one I missed, uh, Santa, Santa, uh, John Alter, Lancer, Santa Lily, you know, her. Uh, this event has sadly passed, so I've missed my chance to get her, but uh, at least I've got her figure, so we'll, we'll have something of her. Um, this is the Sable Lion figure, because uh, why not? She fits the base thing, she's got uh, got a square base, so I figured I might as well pick her up as well. She matches with the rest, so I'll put her somewhere probably on the Fate Stay Night shelf. Uh, she was also fairly cheap. Also, I'm noticing a lot of these have um, the Capcom sticker, or at least some kind of weird gold sticker I haven't seen. I'll have a look at that. Um, once I get down to actually doing a video on all of these. Expect a lot of content. Uh, Nido Chris here. So Nido Chris uh, came with the good smile uh, bonus here, which is, so this character there is called Medjed. Uh, if you pre-ordered it from good smile, you would get uh, the bonus, which was an angry Medjed. Uh, so I figured uh, I'd have a look for that. Eventually I found it on Army Army and it was like, yep, I'll go for it rather than just getting her normally. Because uh, Medjet is a cool enough thing to make me want to grab the bonus. Alright, and then we have Hitsugaya. Because Bleach is getting a resurgence apparently. So I figured I'll pick him up as well. Uh, I think I'm going to try and keep 
keep uh, keep up to date with all the Bleach characters because I, I really did like Bleach and I'm really glad it's coming back as well. Uh, later later next year, I think it's getting the final arc animated. But I was dub only because I was a fool and I grew up with that, so I'm going to wait until the dub comes around to watch that. I might watch the first episode subbed when it happens, but I'm a dub boy for Bleach at least because I, you know, childhood animes. All right. And then we have Mash in her casual clothes. So this one's also a very rare one because uh, I think only 500 of these were made and sold at Wonderfest or something. But uh, it's very cute. I really like her casual outfit design, so I'm really looking to looking forward to unbox this one. I might might prioritize this one a little bit. Uh. All right, what do we have next? Ah, oh, I forgot about you. The Megamine. Nandroid. Didn't I order Union as well? Who else is in this box? Oh wait, there is more. Um, Megamine, of course, in her school uniform version. Very cute. I do like me my Megamine. She is a very funny character. Look at that face. Ah, probably gonna unbox this fairly soon as well. Oh man, there's so many good things. How am I gonna pick? Decisions, decisions. Uh, is this Union? Yeah, this is Union. Oh, I didn't realize she came with, um, her bonus. I kind of just bought this one without checking it out, but... What even is your bonus? I haven't got a clue. But, uh, I have it. Guess we'll find out. Look forward to that whenever that video goes out. And is that it for Nendroids? That looks like it is it. But, we do, of course, have a scale figure, because, uh, you know, I had to go for it. I figured... Had to get something cool Rin-like. As you can see, there's Berserker there and Rin kind of facing backwards. Let's see if we can get a look from this side instead. Which way is the front? I don't know. But it's essentially Berserker attacking Rin, which I thought was really cool. Plus it was at the price of an android, even though it's a scale figure. So I figured, hey, let's do it. Good smile, of course. Weird blue logo. When did you do that? I have no idea. But that seems to be it. That's everything that's in the box, as far as I can tell. <laughs> all right, yeah, that is all of it. That's everything that came in this box. A lot of Androids to unbox, a lot of videos. Tell me which ones are your favorites. I will try and prioritize some of those as well. Um, it's more than likely we're gonna try and do fake ones first. I might do scale figure as soon as I can as well, just because it's not often we get to unbox the scale figure. Oh, but there's so many good ones. I want to do Union, I want to do uh, Megamine, and I want to do Nidocris to find out, like, more about their bonuses. Oh, there's so many choices. Oh, which one do you go with? But we will have to find out in the days to come. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And subscribe for more Nendroid content. Of course, we will do all these unboxings as time goes on. So if you're into any of them, make sure you subscribe and stick along for the journey. Also, if you're thinking of helping me out, go check out the Patreon if you want to. Link's in the description below. And I will catch you all in the next one. All right. Bye.